The bell chimes at Edmund Lowe Library tell students what time it is, but there haven't been bells in it for 19 years. The bells were installed as a manual system in 1953, went electronic in the late 1970s, and were replaced by an entirely digital system in 1993. David Peters serves as a coordinator for Special Collections and University Archives at the library. I know where most of the skeletons are buried. He's worked at Edmund Lowe for 27 years. Peters explains how the bells worked. They weren't like a traditional bell like you think of a, a bell. They were more of a, um, a, a kind of a chime or a tube. They had certain rolls that could run through this keyboard system and play songs. Now, authentic bell sounds come through loudspeakers. Library Senior Communications Specialist Bonnie Kane Wood says that's not all. When most people think of the library bells, they think of the standard tune that plays on the hour, the 20 and the 30, but we actually have a fairly extensive catalog of music. There's an extensive Beatles collection. The tower can play fight songs, pop songs, hymns, and Christmas carols. We'll be hearing uh, holiday uh, selections uh, for the next couple of weeks. The library bells have played carols since the 1950s, but recently Edmund Lowe found a new way to deck the halls. This is the third year that we have had Christmas decorations on the Edmund Lowe Library. It was a project um, initiated by the Student Government Association. Each year it has grown a little bit. I believe plans are to eventually extend the Christmas decorations to other buildings on campus. Though the times and chimes may change, the bells at Edmund Lowe continue to symbolize OSU. I think if they hear similar bells, it takes them back to their time when they were in college. I think there's just something of a romantic idea surrounding a bell tower. For O-State TV, I'm Natalie DeLosa.